In this week's video, I show you how we went from this slide to this slide. Guess what? I have five PowerPoint slide templates that I want to give to you for absolutely free. Each and every slide is fully customizable to your needs. Whether you're presenting to your boss, your professor, your colleague, your employees, or your mother-in-law, you can use these five slides in any way that you'd like. And to get them, you only have to do just one thing. Click on the first link on the YouTube description and sign up to the Slack Cal mailing list. Your welcome email will consist of a download link with these slides. Thank you and enjoy. Welcome back to SlideCow's Design a Good Slide series. My name is Yo-Yo and I'm here to make your slides amusing. We just got an email and it reads, Dear Yo-Yo, I'm loving your Design a Good Slide series. Thank you. Please do my next. I have a bar chart and some text that I have to present, but it looks so boring compared to what you do. I want to make something creative and fun. Thanks, John A. John, I'm on it. Don't even worry about it. I will make this slide look amusing. Okay, I removed a lot of the text because I believe in confidentiality. Guys, the next time you want to send me a slide, please remove the text in it, right? Uh, unless it's something like a quote, because if you don't, then you're exposing yourselves to breaching your company policy in terms of confidentiality. Keep that stuff at your company. I'll help you with the design. Not a big deal, right? But I don't want to know about very important for information about your clients. So, you know, have fun. Send them in, but yeah, let's move on with this one. Step one, position the heading and bar chart. Alrighty, so I'm gonna take this heading right here. I'm gonna paste it over here. I'm gonna change the font and I'm gonna change the font size to 66. Put it in the middle and position it perfectly. Now, I've also realized that John put an explanation mark over there. That's really not needed in, in headings and in titles. Uh, just stick to the text. I also want to add a little bit of extra flair by going to insert, going to shapes, and then clicking on lines right here and just drawing out a line. Now watch what I do. I want to make sure that the line is sufficiently covered from the start of the D to the end of the T. How do I do that? I'm going to go to insert, I'm going to go to shapes, and I'm going to go to the rectangle over here. Just draw out a rectangle just like this. Hold control and shift, drag it to the other side, just like that. And that way I can make sure that the line touches from end to end. Now let's color it in. I'm gonna go to format, I'm gonna click on shape outline, I'm gonna click on the eyedropper tool and uh, click on that little yellow over here because I love that yellow color. Then I'm going to go to weight and then six points until we get something that looks like this. And I think that looks great. So the next step for us is to take this chart over here, this bar chart and paste it, just blow it up, put it in the middle somewhat. Just keep blowing it up and keep pasting it in the middle. Alrighty. Yep, I think that looks absolutely, just be sure. Yep, that looks great. So what we can do now is just color it in. So I'm just gonna click on the bars and make it blue. And I can make the middle one yellow by double clicking it. Go to format, go to shape fill. There we go. That way the don't, the underlined don't over here has direct correlation to the bar right over here all about that flow of communication and that is the first step completed step two make the faces all right i'm gonna make two blank slides one over here that is completely blank and another one that is completely blank these are the two slides we're going to draw our faces on they're not meant to be part of the deck or anything but it's always good to make your stuff in other slides and then just copy and paste it in later because it helps us save time so i'm gonna call this slide over here the smug grin face slide, and I'm gonna call the other one the shocked face slide. All right, cool. So I'm gonna go back to the bar chart here. I'm gonna click on insert, I'm gonna click on shapes, and I'm just gonna draw out a face, right, that matches the width of the bar chart. It doesn't have to be perfect but it does have to be somewhat close to what we have. So this is fine. I'm gonna press on Control X to cut it, go over here and press on Control V to paste it, 
and I'm just going to blow this sucker up so that we can make our edits to it however we'd like and then we can change it all later. All right, so that looks absolutely great. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make this a different color, so I'm gonna keep it to the yellow. And we have a face. So first things first, we need eyes. I'm gonna go to insert, text box, and just put in the single quotation mark over here. Right, I'm just gonna blow it up, just like this. Now we're just gonna change the font to Times New Roman. And that is going to serve as our eye shape. Um, I'm just gonna head over to insert shapes and click on this rectangle over here. Just draw over it just like this, right? I'm gonna highlight everything and I'm gonna go to merge shapes and then we're gonna click on intersect. And then all I have to do is just rotate it to the right just like this. And possibly because I'm a neat freak, I'm just gonna go to home, arrange, rotate, and then flip horizontal, just like that. And I'm gonna make this black without an outline. Just bring it over here and just blow it up. Just like that. Another one just like that. So what we can do now is bring it to the middle just like this. All right, perfect. All right, so we have our eyes, cool. Now we need a smug grin. How do we do that? Let's go to insert, let's go to shapes, and let's click on this shape right here, which is the circle hollow shape, right? Let's just draw out something that looks like this. And let's reduce the size of that just a bit. Bring it up here. Okay, and we're gonna reduce the thickness of this by moving this yellow circle to the left. So we have something that looks like that, right? So um, first things first, I'm gonna remove a segment from the top over here. So I'm just gonna click on insert shapes, click on this and just you know draw something out that looks like this so that we can go and click on the circle first and then the rectangle, and then go to format and then go to merge shapes, click on subtract. And uh, I think that's a bit too long here. So we're gonna go to insert shapes, click on this rectangle, just do the exact same thing, just like this. Click on the smile first, that smug grin, then click on the rectangle second, go to format, go to merge shapes, and then click on subtract. Perfect. All right, so I can just bring that up over here and I can make this black and I can click on no outline. All right, I like this a lot, but I think it needs to be a bit thicker just to match the top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold control and shift, just bring that up and keep doing that just a bit more. Yep, that looks much better. I'm gonna highlight everything, go to Format, Merge Shapes, Union. Now we need some eyebrows, so what we're going to do is we're gonna duplicate the smile, we're gonna reduce the height of it so it's very thin, right? And then we're gonna bring it up, we're gonna rotate it, go to Home, Arrange, Rotate, and then flip vertical, like this. And we're going to rotate it again just slightly to the left, like that. Place it over here. Go to insert shapes, click on the rectangle, just draw something out that looks like this. Click on the eyebrow first, then the shape, go to format, merge shapes, and then subtract. Cool. Then I'm gonna duplicate this, bring it up to the exact same level. Just like that. Then go to home, arrange, rotate, flip horizontal. So you have an X, but you can move that X over here. There we go. Very smug grin, very smug grin. I like that a lot. All right, so now we need our shocked face slide, right? So we're just gonna click on the face first, copy that, go over here and paste it. And uh, we're gonna go to insert shapes and we're gonna click on the uh, rounded rectangle, the rectangle rounded corners over here. I'm gonna draw something out that looks like this. And we're just going to move this yellow circle all the way to the right until we get something like this. Then we're just gonna head over to insert shapes and then click on this rectangle over here. Just draw the rectangle just like this. Then we're gonna click on the eye first, and then the rectangle, go to format, merge shapes, and then subtract. I'm gonna make big eyes for this one. It's gonna be a big shocker. Remove it like this, group it up and move it into the middle. 
and we're going to do the same thing, same eyebrows. So we're going to copy these two eyebrows. Actually, we only need one eyebrow. And we can just duplicate the other one just like that. So what we can do is we're going to make this one just a bit smaller. And yep, that looks, it looks like a worried, shocky face. You know what I mean? So we're going to go to home, arrange, rotate, flip, vertical. No, nope, sorry, flip horizontal, not vertical. And alrighty. So we're going to go to insert shapes and this little oval here to make the shocked mouth, which looks something like this. Don't make it like a scream face, obviously. Don't don't scare your audience. Just make it cute, make it funny. But don't go like, ah! you know what I mean? So, <laughs> so uh, we're going to just, yep, that looks fine. Um, I'm going to make the mouth black, but I think we need to add a tongue here. How do we add a tongue? Uh, I got you guys covered. Go to insert, go to shapes, go to this oval over here. Just hold shift and draw out a small oval just like this. And then press on control, shift, drag it to the right until you get something that looks like two circles stuck together. And then go to format, merge shapes union. Then click on the mouth and then the two circles stuck together. Go to merge shapes. And then what you wanna do is you wanna click on fragment over here. You can just delete the bottom part over here and make this red. So go to format, shape fill, and just make it red. There you go, there's your tongue. Shocked face with a tongue. So uh, we're going to make this white. And I'll show you why it's just white. We're not gonna put any eyeballs in it yet. I'll show you why it's white in just a bit. Step three, add the faces to the bar chart. Okay, I'm going to delete the face we have here. I'm going to group up everything by pressing Control G. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go back to our bar chart over here. Press on Control V, scale it down. And because we made a match to it before, we can just simply zoom in just like this and move it around and position it as perfectly as we can, just like that. Perfect, alrighty. I accidentally put that there so I can delete that. And uh, we can bring in our shocked faces now by doing the exact same thing. So I'm gonna delete the face, I'm gonna highlight everything. Press on Control G to group it up. Control C to copy it. Go over here, Control V to paste. Reduce the size, bring it over, and make sure that it is perfectly positioned. Well, not perfectly, but you know, as best as you can. Alrighty. And from here, I can actually add the eyes that I want to add. So I need eyes looking up, right? Looking up like this. So I'm gonna go to insert shapes and then click on circle, the oval. Just draw something out like this and do the same thing just like that and make it black without an outline, just like this. Alrighty, when you're happy with that, you can group up everything. Make sure you have everything selected except for the bar chart. It's very important that you be very cautious on where you click because if you do something like this, you're automatically clicking on the bar chart, even if you're clicking on any white space. So just be very careful, right? So um, I'm gonna press on Control G to group it up and I'm just gonna hold Control and just do the same thing for every single one and just make sure that the eyes are different for every single one. So this guy over here is looking up, he's like, oh, wow. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. So this guy is looking slightly to the left. Like that. <laughs> Let's just admire this first. <laughs> All right, now we're just gonna move over there. And uh, we're going to also move that up just a bit. And we're going to move that as well, just like that. So this can be looking up like this guy. Alrighty, perfect. Okay, so let's just position these guys correctly now. And yeah, that looks fine too. That looks okay, this looks okay. Perfect, alrighty. 
And that is the third step completed. Step four, add some more features. Alrighty, so I wanna show off that the bar chart in the middle is the big boy, right? The strongest. And how do I do that? By bringing in the guns. Oh, there we go. Alrighty. Uh, quick side note, I did not make this icon. The credit for this icon is in the YouTube description as well as the Slack out post. So anyway, going back to this, what I'm gonna do now is move this over here. I'm gonna bring this guy up just like that, right? I'm gonna make him flex just like this. Maybe just make it a bit bigger. Yeah, there we go. Move this over here, this down. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna right click and click on send to back just like this, right? And then I'm gonna press on control C, control V to make the other side over here. Obviously I'm gonna go to home, range, rotate, flip horizontal, but I want to make it just a bit different, just like that, so that we have, you know, a Johnny Bravo sort of look going on, right? So uh, when I'm happy with that, I'm just gonna right click and click on send to back. There we go, alrighty. <laughs> standing tall, standing strong. He does lift. Step five, add the text. Alrighty, so for this one, I'm just gonna head over to insert shapes and click on this rectangle. Just draw a rectangle like this. And let's color it red without an outline. Just send it to back, just like that. All right. Um, the reason why is because I want all the attention to focus on this big boy right here and none of these other small guys looking at his gains, right? So I'm just gonna head over to the first slide, copy the text, paste it, move it over here. Let's change the font to Source Sans Pro. Change it to around 14 points, I think it's fair. Let's reduce that just a bit. And let's make it white. Now I think that the text is a bit too, you know, stuck together. So we're just gonna go to um, line spacing options over here. Uh, I have it a multiple at 0 0.9. I wanna change it to 1.2. I think that's better. Yeah, that's much better actually. So I'm gonna bring that up like that, move this to the left a bit, and there we go. All right, perfect. This way I can just like reduce the size of our little rectangle that we made earlier, just ever so slightly, and we can position it any way that we'd like. Cool, all righty, there we go. Step six, adjust as necessary. All righty, so first things first, I want to make sure the font is consistent. So I'm going to change the font over here at the X axis to, um, let's go with the same as before, which is Source Sense Pro. And I'm also going to, no, I don't need to bolt that, I think that's fine. I am gonna make it black though, so that I match the top over here. And uh, let's see what happens if I add some data labels to the top over here. Okay, so this is interesting now. Um, we can actually play around with this just a bit more. I'm gonna set the font size here to 10, as, and I'm gonna use the intro font, which is the same font that we set at the top here. And I'm gonna change this guy over here to around, let's go with 13, so it stands out. Nope, just this guy at the top. You guys don't deserve it, so. 13, boom, alrighty. There it is. Look at that. We went from this to this. This was a lot of fun to do. I have to admit, it was a lot of fun to do and I really enjoyed making it. Thank you, John, for giving me the inspiration to do this. Uh, I hope it's as creative as fun as you wanted it to be. Guys, please do visit slidecow.com. Please do like, comment, share, and subscribe. You know, we I really appreciate everything you're doing. Keep those emails coming in. I'm having a blast making these really fun to make. You guys have no idea how fun these are. So I will see you next week. Have a great one. Bye-bye.